The Fat Controller's railway as of late was having a rather unusual time. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, passenger services dropped drastically. However, goods traffic increased immensely. This was because the people stuck inside their houses needed essential things like food to survive. So, as you can imagine, the engines were kept busy pulling goods trains alongside their very minimal amount of passenger services. Regardless of what work they did, the engines found themselves exhausted by the end of the day. Some more than others. Oh, evening James. You're back late. Pfft. Tell me about it, Henry. It's bad enough that I have to pull dirty trucks all day, but what's worse is that those silly things won't behave. I wish the fat controller would just scrap them. Just then, Boko rolled up. Well, come now, James. Our trucks may be troublesome, but you must remember that they play an important role in keeping the railway running. James knew that Boko was right, and without another word, the red mixed traffic engine closed his eyes and fell asleep. When James woke up, he found himself sitting in the goods yard at Vickerstown. That's strange. I wasn't sleeping here last night. But before James could even begin to question what was going on, he saw his driver. All right, James, the Fat Controller wants us to pull a special train. Is it coaches or trucks? Trucks. Trucks! I won't go! But you have to go. It's the Fat Controller's orders. James knew better than to go against his Controller's orders. And with no more hesitation, he set to work assembling the train. Soon, James's train was ready to depart. And amongst his trucks stood a sinister looking plank truck. By the looks of his face, he appeared to be scheming something, and he was. <laughs> so, rusty red scrap iron's taking us out, eh? Well, I'll make sure to make his journey unforgettable. <laughs> James was making good time until he came to a red signal. Gordon was due to pass by with the express, and James had no choice but to wait for him before he could continue on his way. This was where the sinister truck put his plan into action. The truck lurched forward, and James found himself on the main line. What are you doing? Well, you see, Rusty Red Scrap Iron, I hear you don't appreciate us trucks and wish we were scrapped. So I'm giving you a taste of your own medicine. <laughs> James the Red Engine had never been so terrified in all his life. He tried to get off the main line by reversing, but his train was too heavy. Just then, he heard Gordon's whistle. Following disaster was inevitable! As soon as the dust settled, the full extent of the damage could be seen. Sadly, all the crew members and passengers lost their lives. As for the two big engines, Gordon wasn't badly damaged. But James, on the other hand, was a complete wreck. Nothing remained of him but broken metal. It took a very long time to clear the mess, but soon all the casualties were taken away and James's remains were taken away to be scrapped. No! James, what happened? 
I had a nightmare, Henry. About what? About a sadistic little plank truck causing me to get scrapped. Henry smiled warmly. Don't worry, James. That troublesome truck can't hurt you now. Besides, it was only a nightmare. I suppose you're right. Thank you, Henry. No problem, James. Now get some sleep. You've got a lot to do tomorrow. And with that, James closed his eyes and fell asleep once more. James is a different engine now. While still hating trucks, he no longer wishes for them to get scrapped. He always remembers to treat his trucks with respect, because he knows that the trucks will get revenge at any cost if they're mistreated.